Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. You know what? It's a very, very, very good day. We actually smashing the market. So let me just show you before we continue. Relax, guys. Relax. I will just show you the signals that we actually sent uh, that I sent yesterday. Yesterday it was first of November. Let's see. Okay. So okay, the first one was Nasdaq. We we had a buy stop. You can see that. Uh, I also sent this, uh, you can see the screenshot, expecting the market to do what? To push to the upside. I was expecting the market to actually push the upside. I will show you that. Um, another one was what? US 80 also, it's a buy pending order there. You can see the structure. Uh, the structure, oh sorry, US 80. Also, I was expecting the market to do or to push a little bit up. This was sent actually before FOMC or before 8 o'clock. Another one is France 40, it's a buy. Also, German 40, it was a buy. USD CAD was a sell. Uh, you can see the structure. Uh, it was on the highest area. So I said, okay, let's eat. I think it's going to push uh, push the lower side. So the other one, it was what? It was GBPJPY. I did a mistake here because I said sell stop. I just saw it now. It's supposed to be a buy stop because you can even see the structure here. Uh, I said, actually, you can see I, I meant actually a buy stop. So let me show you those signals. Uh, all these signals that I'm showing you are sent yes actually yesterday. Let me see. It's one, two, three, four, five six signals that i've sent yesterday so let's start with france 40. okay you can see france 40 also this one was also smashed if maybe you you checked the signals uh, as you can see it's pushing to the upside and it's actually still pushing to the upside uh which is actually good uh let's see another one german 40 or german 30 it was also smashed you can see there we still have the order S&P 500, I think we also had, I don't know if I sent that. I didn't, I think I did not really send that, but we, I sent NASDAQ. Wow. Look at that. Look at this guys. So we are also actually smashing this one, but I think other guys, they actually went out, but yes, they did actually smash. US 30 also doing the same thing, smashing, but not really like uh, NASDAQ gold we do not really have any any anything there another one it was actually usd canada uh, you can also see that uh, the market did actually push the upside and this is actually a swing trade so it means they can even hold like quite longer if i go maybe on a daily time frame that is actually the summary of the signals that i've sent yesterday it's gonna be something like that uh, you can see that so that's why we say you can join the team, guys. Join in the team if you can. Uh, we actually actually going to take only 20 people. We are actually on a, our special Black Friday special. You can see the prices there. This is lifetime signals. We're going to scratch uh, that. We're going to scratch all this and say, you know what? get our signals for actually 19 dollars so if you are in mzanzi if you are in south africa that is going to be around three three hundred and sixty i think something like that you can do the the conversion there so you can scan this qr code get uh, this lifetime signals for actually 19 dollars you know if you know you know once you get only two signals you were going to recover that you were going to recover uh, the amount that you actually purchased uh, these uh, signals anyways uh, without wasting your time let's go straight to our analysis i i thought maybe i should show you uh what do we do actually in the group we don't really show much i don't really send uh, do the screenshot and stuff like that we have to just work we just have to work and if we make it it is actually stays with us if we don't still make it it still stays with us, with us, so we don't really have to show off the screenshots and stuff like that. But that uh, it's something that other people like, and I don't really like uh, that because this is my business. It's supposed to stay private like that. Anyways, on DXY, so I think we should go on four hours time frame. On DXY, four hours time frame on dxy the market actually it's still pushing to the upside i hope you can see that 
I hope uh, you can see that the market is actually still pushing to the upside. Uh, which we call that an uptrend you can see we call that an uptrend so yeah that one is quite thick here eh? so let me just use this one yeah so you can see that the market is actually starting to push the upside and it's been quite for some time because i've been actually showing you that but where we are now we are actually on this area you can see that the market is actually consolidating around this zone so do you see that the market is actually consolidating around that and I think, I think uh, with this structure, with this structure, as we are actually been on this uptrend for quite some time, I still believe that maybe the market will end up reaching this support area and still continue to the upside. That actually shows how uh, the dollar is actually strong, especially when the inflation is still very high. We are most likely going to see the market pushing to the upside, especially uh, the dollar. And remember, this Friday we have actually NFP. So I still believe that the dollar is still going to push the upside. Maybe this week the market might end up pushing lower, but uh, I think we're going to see a pick up again. I think the market will be picking up again. Not the market, sorry, the dollar or DXY picking up again. So uh, now we are actually, I'm trying to be as fast as possible. I, I actually want this videos to be uh, very, very short so that you can watch and do your own thing. So now on GBPJPY, you can easily see that, yes, the market is actually on a very nice uh, downtrend. Sorry, it was on a very nice downtrend. The market broke out, but it seems like the market is trying to retest. But now this retest looks like it's no longer a retest. It seems like the market is trying to go back. If the market is trying to go back, it means we will end up going, at, uh, uh, going back on this downtrend. And we will end up saying that, you know what? The market was just adjusting. Maybe that was a fake breakout, something like that, or just an adjustment. Then we will end up saying, okay, we are back on this uh, downtrend. We'll have to see and, uh, and see what's really happening. I thought maybe the market was going to push like that as a sort of a retest. But since yesterday, the market has been playing games. But I like the fact that we've been actually, I've been actually explaining uh, mostly on these charts for you guys. I hope now you understand what's really happening. And for those who want to be part of the team, we still have uh, this $28 mentorship, guys. It's still on. Actually, I think only five people joined. So if another five wants to join, Let's join the team and learn how to analyze so that you can actually do your own uh, signals, do your own analysis and so that you can understand. There's people who actually invested a lot actually in the market. You know, you, you lost more than $100. So I think if you lost more than $28, I don't think maybe $28 is enough actually for you not to join our mentorship because you're going to learn how to do exactly what i'm doing here i'm not saying that after you land my mentorship you're not going to lose i'm just saying that at least you will have a clear picture of what happened what's really happening in the market you will understand when to buy when to sell when to get out risk management when to apply uh, this uh, this methods actually on the market some people they've been trading for quite some time maybe more than two years but they still can't withdraw but they still risk more than what we charge here and that is actually something that i don't really understand but i understand so many people think maybe they can do that on their own i understand that but sometimes pride aside get someone who's going to teach you something and maybe that might help i'm not actually saying only join me there are so many people who can actually teach you the market outside uh, all over the place obviously they will charge you more but i'm just saying there are people who can actually teach you and be a great trader even if maybe you are not like 100 percent successful or maybe making profits 100 percent as there's no one who, who is doing that but at least you can sometimes lose some and sometimes you can make something and you will say you know what i have a confidence that tomorrow i will recover and you recover and you withdraw then you start to to enjoy this journey but it's tough when you just deposit but you never get any results you just deposit you just trade you never get any results i showed you almost four or three signals in the group where we all made profit so you start to realize that yeah there are days where we're gonna have mixed uh, results or maybe sometimes we lose but there are days where we're just going to make it throughout the day or more than five signals they are all in our favor that is something that we want we're not saying that we're gonna be right every day I hope you understand that.
So get knowledge, guys. We can't just do the analysis every day because doing analysis very quick like this and able to find a direction and say, okay, we need to sell and buy very quick. That is actually a matter of so many years of struggle on the market. And maybe we can actually teach you that within a month and you will start to understand what's really happening. You don't really have to take four years to learn this thing if you get someone who actually knows. Get someone who can actually teach you. I hope you understand that. I want you to go on the charts and tell me, Kenzo, here it's wrong, here it's right. Don't just agree with me every day just because you don't really know. Go learn something and we can do the analysis together. That's why I say I need someone who actually can actually we can do analysis together. We can go live. We can just go through the charts. But we'll get back to that after. So now we are actually on GBP USD. I'm just happy, guys. And I try to show you the road. Get someone who's going to help you. OK, we're done with that. Yeah, so GBP USD, the market is still actually on a downtrend since a few few weeks ago, and we've been actually preaching about that. But what I, I like about the structure is it's been respecting our uh, uh, analysis very nice. But what we can do here is to wait for the market uh, to break this support area or maybe break this resistant area because now the market is on this white structure. So now the market will just consolidate between this resistance and support. So our job is to wait for a breakout. Whether the market is going to push to the upside or downside, it doesn't really matter as long as the market is going to break. But remember, we are actually on a downtrend. The market might actually break the support area. Yesterday, FOMC did not really push the market that much. Uh, the market did not really pay, uh, uh, do anything crazy. So, and it was fine because on our side, we already bought early. We already bought early and that was our lucky side, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So now we are actually on Euro USD. What's really happening still actually on that downtrend. Uh, still respecting everything that we showed uh, or that I showed you for quite some time. And now the market is actually pushing up. The market respected this smaller support there. It seems like the market will be going back to our resistant area. And for from there, maybe the market will respect that again and start to push lower again and we're gonna have a very nice sell if not maybe the market will get out of this uh, this uh, downtrend and maybe the market will break but we're still in the middle so which means we can just wait for the market to actually reach a little bit higher before we think about selling you can see that area is actually a very strong resistance so if the market reaches that area we will be thinking about uh, doing something there but for now let's just relax if maybe we're not in the market relax sometimes uh, something that makes you to lose is you don't know when to wait you're always in a trade one way or another you are always in a trade which is actually something that is not really good so now we are actually on gold i think here we're gonna have some very nice buy guys i've been talking about this downtrend for quite some time now is that time where i'm focusing on this uptrend i think the market will be uptrending i think we need to have a, a buy pending around this area i think the market sorry 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 I think the market will be showing us a very nice buy here. I think I have to buy here. I think we need to have an order. We have to have an order. I have to send this signal after I'm done with this video. As the market seems to be respecting this support area, I'm expecting the market to actually do what? To push to the upside. I'm expecting the market to do that. And that might happen. Why? Because the market just broke out of this downtrend. And now the market is changing the trend. And this new trend now is actually an uptrend. And I think the market will be pushing to the upside. So that's what I see the market currently on gold. So let's push to the next one, which is actually your estate. I already showed you this one, uh, but I showed you several times. So there is nothing much that I can show you. But you know what? I'm just expecting the market to go straight to this resistance. The market has been actually on this downtrend for quite some time. I'm expecting it to push maybe to reach this resistance before maybe we see another continuation. Just because we bought, we are not saying that the market changed the trend. No, we're not saying that. We bought because the market, it was like oversold and there was some economic news which actually uh, pushed the dollar to at least go a little bit lower. And that's why we actually have a buy there. And from there, 
once the market pushes up i don't know if maybe there's people who are still holding but i'm expecting the market to still push a little bit higher maybe before we see another push remember nfp tomorrow might change things or maybe might even push the market to go even higher so i thought me i saw the, the the numbers on nfp i don't know if i showed you that i don't know if i showed you the economic or let me finish here first so i'm expecting the market to push a little bit higher before we see a down uh, another push to the lower side yes there is a possibility for the market to break out there is that possibility but for now we still stick with our downtrend as the market is still pushing to the lowest side right so before we go on nasdaq let's go actually and check what's really happening here so now uh, it's thursday we're going to have actually unemployment claims around half past two that will actually also push the market a little bit but not really that much i can see forecast here they say or i can just say estimate i don't really i i, I struggle pronouncing this word forecast i will just use estimate um, the estimate says uh the numbers won't be that different uh, from previous month so anyways i we don't know about that we'll see we'll have to see but maybe we will not see a bigger change so which means if it's just this the same we're not going to see the market moving that much if it's gonna be higher you will see gold flying so tomorrow uh the main actually event because we're no longer talking about interest rates uh, nfp tomorrow we will see what will happen half past two tomorrow uh, it seems like uh, they say things they're gonna be not really good here uh, the estimate says 179 previously it was 336k 336k actually so if this number goes uh, like that lower it means uh, gold sorry the dollar is going to lose that strength and maybe we'll see the likes of Nasdaq, Gold and the other ones pushing to the upside, which is something that we want, right? So let's go back actually. Again, I repeat, we have a, a nice special for 20 people, guys. Join our $19 lifetime signals for only $19. And you can see lifetime is actually $99. So if you are interested, let me know. Only 20 people, actually only 20 people will be joining that. You can scan this QR code to be part of the team. So let's go back. Let's go back to our, our chat. So on the chat, whoa, yeah, you can see that we were smashing this one. Very nice. I think if you even go on our live session uh, yesterday with Trader Nick, I also showed uh, that that trade that, yeah, we have a buy pending order and it was not actually triggered. But guess what? It was triggered later on. And it's called smashing. Or oh, we are actually eating. So now what's really happening here? I think the structure is quite straightforward. Uh, the structure is quite straightforward the market it was pushing like that the market was pushing like that so since we touched this area since the market was uh, especially on on nasdaq we had some earnings which were not really that crazy prof uh, uh, positive but some they were pro uh, positive and it was a matter of time for the market to do what to push the upside uh yesterday we also had fomc or interest rates which they did not really increase the rates as we said uh and they were not really bad i think that actually pushes the market to push the upside i still believe that maybe we might reach around this area let's say around 1500 or 15,000. there i think the market might push uh, towards that area so the the situation is we are smashing which is something which is very good but don't forget that we are actually on a downtrend so the market might still push to the upside but once it reaches these areas, we might start to see it struggle and the market might push lower. And where we are now, obviously, if you know, you know, you're not going to actually play around the market. It's not going to be safe for everyone to go and say, OK, they say it's a buy and you start to think about buy. No, already it's late. We bought actually around this area. We've been trying to buy, but the market was just consolidating around this area. Then I'm still expecting the market to push the upside but not really that aggressive maybe just because of nfp tomorrow we'll see what will happen but i think we will see the market going towards this area 
and maybe we will see another sell again and it's also possible that maybe the market might get out of this resistant and if that happens it's gonna be a very good one it's gonna be a very good one but by the way don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends don't forget to join the team. You can scan that QR code. It's only $19 lifetime. Signals to forget about this. Only 19 people, 20 people. So, yeah, I hope maybe this will help or help one or two people who are going to join. So, anyways, thank you very much. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.